tonight we are having beef stroganoff. Actually, it's called TJ's beef stroganoff because TJ does not like sour cream. So this is my version of stroganoff without the sour cream and it is actually pretty light. And what's neat is I actually was able to find whole wheat egg noodles and so I use whole wheat egg noodles to do this recipe. I do a very small portion for this meal, so it's still pretty low carb. It's actually not too bad. And so let's get started. So I'm browning my beef. Now, my recipe normally calls for steak, but I could not find any good cuts of steak. So I'm going to try it out with ground beef. I get very lean ground beef, and I just browned it up. My other, when I do steak, I just put it in and cook it into the beef broth and everything. But this time around, since it's ground beef, I wanted to brown it beforehand. So this will actually probably have a quicker cook time than my um, original recipe. We're going to add one cup of beef broth to the meat. I'm adding a teaspoon of salt. That was low sodium beef broth. And TJ loves salt and we do not watch our salt intake because nobody in the house has any problems with salt. So I'm adding one teaspoon of salt and I'm adding half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. I added a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Now you can adjust this to however you like your temperature in your food. Now you could add a bay leaf if you have one, or I don't, I just have crushed bay leaves. So I'm just adding a quarter tablespoon of bay leaf. And then lastly, I'm adding a teaspoon of moisturizer. Moisturizer? Moisturizer? Okay, I can never pronounce it right. Moisturizer sauce? I think it's Worcestershire sauce. Yes. <laughs> now you're going to want to stir this. You're going to just get make sure that everything gets really mixed nicely. And if you could smell this, this smells just amazing. Now what makes my stroganoff different than normal stroganoff is I don't add sour cream. I add cream cheese. TJ likes cream cheese. He does not like sour cream. So this is what works for our family. And I'm just going to leave it on top. Right before I serve it, I'm going to blend that into the whole mixture. So I'm going to set this on low. You, my recipe normally has this at 4 hours. Because the beef is already cooked, you could shorten the time probably. You're basically just heating and melting the flavors together. So there you go. So I'm just going to plug this in and get it ready and it's all set. Okay, so this has been cooking for about 4 hours. Actually three hours, no, four and a half. And the cheese mainly is in here to just really soften up because you're going to start mixing it in. And at first it's going to stay really clumpy like this. Basically, I'm using a fork and I'm just going to start working this. And you just want to keep stirring it until all the clumps are gone. All the clumps of cheese are gone. Now you'll notice that the sauce is very watery right now. So you're gonna let this cook uncovered for about a half an hour to an hour. The time depends upon how much liquid you have in here and you just kinda wanna watch it just to make sure, what you're basically trying to do is make sure that it's not watery anymore. And while that's happening, I'm going to set a timer to start cooking my noodles about halfway through. So the stroganoff is ready. You can see it's a lot thicker than it was before. And I cooked up our noodles. And our noodles are all ready to serve. So I'm just going to add the stroganoff on top. 